Life is too short. These words resonate with many of us who find ourselves wrapped up in the hustle and bustle of daily life, only to wish we were capable of breaking away to spend our time, money, and efforts on the things we ourselves are more passionate about. Three years ago, these exact thoughts are what started our journey to do more of what we love. My name is Zach, my wife is Tracy, and we along with our Siberian Huskies are the Sunshine State Vikings. We are Florida-based adventurers looking to do more of what we love while exploring the craft of sharing our story with you. In this chapter of our story, we are joined by our good friends the Overlanderoos as we set out with the intention of taking it easy and letting adventures find us. This chapter is our tale of adventures found along the Georgia Traverse. Good morning, everyone. We hope you've been well. We have just woken up from an excellent night of sleep here on day two of our adventures found along the Georgia Traverse series. We got to camp right up against this river. Something about sleeping with water running in the background is just so incredibly soothing. We've all had the most amazing night of sleep camping we've ever had. It's a very private little campground. We are right off the road. Nobody came by at all yesterday. Uh, we stayed up till about 10 o'clock, just getting to talk and hang out and uh, really catch up on each other's lives here, the Overlander Roos and ourselves. Um, but we're just having an amazing time here at camp. We do have the goal today to get camp broke down and out on the trail as early as possible. We have one concern that we really need to take care of, and that's the fact that we're both on a quarter tank of gas. We're a little concerned about that, but we have a plan and we think we're gonna be okay. Um, but we've gotta get camp broke down so we can get out on the trail today and we'll see how the day goes from here.
the turn for gas is coming up. Perfect. All right, well, we did make it to the gas station. Perfect timing at that. Uh, Brad's computer on the Jeep was telling him he had 20 miles left to go by the time we got here to the gas station. So uh, we're all a bit relieved to be able to make it here but it's 12 p.m. now. We've done a good bit of wheeling on the Georgia Traverse uh, so far. We're probably gonna stop. We've already gotten fuel. We're gonna get lunch taken care of, grab ourselves a bunch of drinks. Uh, Brad's gotta top off with ice and uh, we're gonna carry on from here, but we're gonna have to just have a conversation here and decide because we are a much further behind than our original plans, whether or not we're gonna just stick to the highway roads and uh, skip some of the Georgia's Traverse or whether or not we're headed straight back to where we left off the trails to come here and if we'll just carry on and maybe the third day we'll skip ahead if we haven't made it as far as we thought. Uh, we're all just kind of playing it by ear and the, uh, the plan is just evolving as we go so uh, we're gonna get that figured out and we'll continue on from here in a little bit. While we have discussed about a plan, we've decided that now that we've fueled up we are not gonna double back to the Georgia Traverse because on day two here, we had hopes of hitting an apple orchard and we're currently only 10 miles away from that. So we're actually gonna loop out and around, hit the apple orchard and then cut back into the Georgia Traverse at a little bit of a southern, uh, more southerly point. And then we'll continue on from there. We have a campsite in mind that we're trying to hit. Uh, we're gonna see if we can make it there, but if not, there's a ton of other campgrounds around that area. But um, that's the plan for now. And we're all excited to go see the apple orchard and pick up some delicious goodies. The, uh, the girls are obviously pretty stoked about that, but we just have to air back up because we drove here on 15 PSI. It was about five miles on the highway. Not fun, but totally fine with doing that. But since we're gonna stay on the roads for a little bit here, we're gonna get aired up and we're gonna get ourselves over to that apple orchard.
All right, well, we have made it to the apple orchard. It's Mercier Apple Orchard. Uh, don't know if I'm butchering that name. It's got uh, kind of a French spelling. Uh, we're gonna find that out later, but uh, the, the rest of the group is gonna go head in and check things out. We're out of season. We're not gonna be able to go out to the orchard and pick apples, but it's still a pretty cool looking place. They've got like a cafe and a gift shop and uh, what looks to just be an awesome little storefront here for Apple Orchard Goods. We're looking to get some cider, um, but this was recommended to us by a good friend. And now that we've gotten off the traverse and we hooked back down and around and we've come to the orchard, our route back to get on to the Georgia Traverse, uh, it's gonna put us just about on track with where we thought we would originally be today. Uh, keep in mind, we are kind of just uh, loosely planning this out, but we did look at this ahead of schedule and kind of uh, generalize about how far we thought we would make it in a day. And since we haven't made it as far as we thought we would, everything is totally fine. We're just enjoying our trip uh, and exploring along the Georgia Traverse. So there's absolutely no issue with just ditching the Georgia Traverse for a section and hooking back around and making up some time but I've got to hang out with the dogs because obviously we can't do anything with us all going in there. So I'm going to hang out with the dogs. Everybody's going to go in, have a good time. And then I'm going to run in myself and check it out when everybody gets back out here. Or I'm basically going to swap out with Tracy. But uh, when she comes back, I'm going to pop in. I may show you guys some stuff real quick and we're going to check out the apple orchard. Okay, change of plans. It's pretty busy in there. And we decided not to film inside the store but we did grab a bunch of goodies. The uh, apple orchard is just absolutely beautiful here. That's the orchard back there. They have this beautiful pond water feature down here. Just really awesome place to check out. Uh, the Darus are out walking around the pond right now. They look like they're having a great time. I just got back from grabbing our goodies from the apple orchard, which the register told me is pronounced Mercier. So we're gonna go with that. And I also asked when picking season is, and she said it was typically, depending on the weather, between September and October. But there's a bunch of other picking seasons throughout the year. But the apple one is obviously the really cool one for an apple orchard. We obviously got some apples. We're at an apple orchard. These are um, golden crisps. Those look delicious. We have picked up ourselves some hard cider, can't go wrong with that. And then we got on a good assortment of things. We've got some sparkling ciders, non-alcoholic for right now. Some apple chips. A ready mix meal of corn chowder. And then how could we forget and not get something for the pups either. These are some peanut butter home baked uh, dog treats, they're gonna absolutely love that. Highly recommend stopping at the Apple Orchard. We've probably spent about an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes here, and it was well worth the detour. Um, so from here, we're gonna get our stuff packed up. We're gonna let the Darus finish up with hanging out around the water. We're gonna get ourselves packed up and we're gonna get back headed south towards the Georgia Traverse, where we're gonna link back up with the trail and continue guiding ourselves down the way until we hopefully get to the campsite that we're shooting for tonight. But either way, we're gonna continue on from here. So that was just a short little 20 minute drive. We picked a nice scenic road to get ourselves back down south. Uh, very pleased with the area, very beautiful. Uh, we took a real windy road to get down here, but we are back on the Georgia Traverse now and we are cruising right along a little river here. Um, just, we're all just absolutely loving the scenery. 
but we have a little ways to go carrying back on the Georgia Traverse. We have another destination in mind. We're hunting down a suspension bridge. Hopefully we don't have any issues finding it, but we should be there pretty shortly and we're all excited about stop number two for the day. Definitely really cool being up here in Georgia in the mountains with the Georgia red clay um, Just you know different scenery from what we're used to in Florida and we're all really enjoying it And so we've made it to destination number two for the day. It is uh, supposedly a suspension bridge. The uh, signs on the way in said swinging bridge. Uh, not too sure what national forest we're in, but the drive down, it was just a, a magnificent trail. Some very beautiful colors along the way. Um, it was a little longer than we expected. But uh, nonetheless, we are here and we are all very looking, very much looking forward to it. We've got a little bit of a hike until we get there. So we made it to the swinging bridge. It's uh, it's pretty dang cool. Not gonna lie to you guys, the dogs did not like this bridge at all. So we doubled back and I'm up here by myself now, but just check out, I mean, I mean, it, it's crazy. It probably doesn't show very well in the video, but the thing just swings side to side and, and it is a little off putting, but the sights definitely are pretty epic. I mean, just how beautiful is that? Such a cool thing to be able to come out and explore. Well, we all definitely enjoyed that experience there. And these were certainly the types of little adventures along the Georgia Traverse that we were looking for. So we are right on target with what our goals were for this trip. And uh, we're gonna work our way back to the trucks and we're gonna keep going from here and see if we can make it to the camp uh, that we were hoping to make it to tonight.
And so we're making our way back from the suspension bridge, the swinging bridge, and um, we're gonna reconnect back with the Georgia Traverse and head over to that campsite that we're talking about that we're hoping to be able to grab for the night. It's 5.30 and we have had an incredibly eventful day. Just an awesome day out here exploring along the Georgia Traverse and all of those little adventures that we found along the way. But we are really needing to make some distance real quick. So we're gonna probably see you guys back at camp and um, carry on from there once we get back onto the road here. Well, we did it again. We got to camp before the sun sets and it is an incredible camp right here up on this little mountaintop with some spectacular views. We just got to watch this beautiful sun setting off in the distance. Just the views are absolutely spectacular around here. We are just about done setting up camp for the night. Tracy and I are gonna get dinner going for ourselves and the Darus tonight, but so far this has just been a perfect day and this is what it is all about. Well, it was just another awesome night at camp here. Tracy whipped up some fantastic grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. We all thoroughly enjoyed that. Now, the wind has picked up substantially throughout the night so far, but I mean, could you really complain with having 360 views up on top of this little mountaintop? They were fantastic. We're all really excited to see what the sunrise is like up on the other side here. Um, but for now, we're just gonna hang out, enjoy the rest of our time around the campfire, and we're gonna leave you guys off here. We hope to see you on the next day. But for right now, thank you for watching. Do more of what you love, and we hope to see you on the next one. To learn more about us and find out ways to help support the adventures, visit our website, sunshinestatevikings.com. And to keep up with our adventures, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Sunshine State Vikings.